Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, May 23rd, 2019. Uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, go ahead and uh, check out the description box below. It has all the information for the readings that I offer, and it has my email address. So just go ahead and email me and let me know what you'd like to move forward with. Keep in mind that these, and these messages are timeless because time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Yes, so whenever you watch it, is most likely the right time for you to watch it. Um, just go with the flow here. Yeah? Okay. Now, I'm going to warn you guys, or just I'm just going to say this. I'm feeling a little wonky today. Um, I had some dreams last, or this one dream last night that, <laughs> that made it really hard to get out of bed this morning. Um, <laughs> it was really kind of messed up, and I still don't even understand what it means, why any of that happened, blah, blah, blah. But it was just, it was not fun. It was not cute. So bear with me today. Um, and I got to bed pretty late last night, so I'm kind of like out of it. But also it's just like that, that kind of threw me for a loop. So I don't know if you guys are feeling these crazy energies. I don't know what it's about and I don't necessarily like it. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna get to it, all right, guys? Let's see what we've got for today. Mm. All right, here we go. Mm. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, May 23rd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so the kind of the I'll, I'm gonna say the color theme for today or at least today's message is purple a very strong purple and deep purple um, purple is a color of the crown chakra third eye ish area um, well actually it is the, 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 the shade that I'm seeing is really the color of the third eye um, vision, clarity, understanding, psychic intuition, um, psychic sight, clear audience, clear cognizance, clear sentience. Um, also, um, dreaming visions, being able to fly, <laughs> which sounds kind of weird, but it actually, because it's from, it's basically like from your third eye where you're able to move forward or like to, to like, fly around to different areas and see different things, travel to different places, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. It's through your vision. Um, but also it's a color of wisdom, okay? Um, so, I, right, so there's some sort of wisdom that is being shown to us, given to us, that we're being absorbed, that we're absorbing in some way. Let's get this one last shuffle. For Thursday, May 23rd, best messages. Whatever spirit wants to discuss today. Let's see what we get. Thursday, May 23rd. Nine of Cups, okay. May 23rd, 2019. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. All right. Overall, we have <laughs> the Page of Swords. All right. But this is seeking wisdom and understanding. Hold on a second. Let me adjust my light here. Okay. That's better. That's better. Page of Swords. Seeking wisdom and understanding you can say those as three separate words 
as in the word seeking, the word wisdom, and the, un the word understanding, or you can string it together. Seeking wisdom and understanding. Seeking knowledge. Yes? However you want to take that. We've got, okay. Yeah, all right, cool. So, the cards that have come out here are way better than I may have um, expected. But that's mainly just from, I guess, the energies I'm coming from. Because let me tell you, that dream I had last night was fucked up. <laughs> it was just fucked. But so what we have here, strength with the nine of cups leading to the ten of cups. And then we have the Knight of Wands with the Eight of Wands. So it seems... Interesting. It seems that through some sort of restraint, we have some sort of inner strength here. And satisfaction. Being... Okay, being in your inner strength, holding... I guess holding back in a way, um, restraint... Yes, restraining yourself, um, taming the beasts. And while simultaneously staying rooted and grounded in your grounded, excuse me, in your own satisfaction is helping to move you towards the Ten of Cups here. It's as if you've you or someone around you has found some deep sense of inner satisfaction. And with the Page of Swords here, it's like there are people watching you or this person kind of wondering how do they do that? Why are you so happy? <laughs> Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Now, I kind of feel like you could be attracting someone in that's coming in hot and heavy here. I f almost feel like... Now, I was thinking maybe I should rearrange the... Um, set up here but no it's fine i'm getting the message so it's either that you're attracting someone into your life because of your sense of deep inner strength inner knowing self-belief also charisma i just heard karma so this could be generating good karma for yourself which definitely could be representative here in the nine of cups and you're sitting in your nine of cups in your satisfaction with a focus on the 10, completing that 10. And I do feel like someone's coming in hot and heavy for whoever this is, for some of you, passionately. Um, they could be a light worker. They could be a torchbearer, a leader of some sort. Um, but also, conversely, if you're not working on attracting someone or you're just not attracting someone into your life, I feel like you're also either, well, Either you're also doing this or you're doing this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trouble speaking this morning. Um, you're leading the way. You're leading the charge. And you're, it's like you're communicating with people. It's like you're the torchbearer. You're an enlightener. You're bringing enlightenment to people. You're showing them the way. You're the torchbearer. You're the, the way shower. And there's communication through that eight of wands or there's just clear movement now there's also with this knight of wands this could be you moving forward passionately swiftly quickly um towards your manifestations towards your happiness while all the while seeking learning understanding more and more Please excuse the sniffles, guys. I have allergies. Moving on. Um, 
ultimately, this is really a good thing. I do see a lot of progress towards the completion, the ultimate fulfillment, satisfaction in the Ten of Cups here. And it really has to do with, I mean, I, I honestly, the biggest message here is in moving forward for you, the biggest thing that's going to help you is staying grounded in your happiness and satisfaction. Definitely with a fo with some sort of a, a focus on the future or where you're headed, but staying grounded in the moment, in gratitude, satisfaction, no matter what the circumstances. So like even for me here, like for example, I had that really shitty dream that has kind of thrown my energy off a bit today pers on a personal level. And like I said, it was very hard for me to get up this morning like to <laughs> I had to pull really pull it together to get myself out of bed this morning and spirit was even trying to like encourage me <laughs> I swear to god they started playing Madonna's Vogue in my head to try <laughs> to try and to try and motivate me to like say hey you know everything's okay it's not as bad as you think <laughs> it was just a dream but and honestly it's like I mean, actually, they, okay, they were kind of saying that, yeah, it was just a dream, Eric, but at the same time, like, the dream state is kind of more of the real reality than, don't look at it that way. They're saying, Eric, stop. You're being, you're being foolish now. Okay, all right, I get it, but, so even with me being in this energy right now, I'm still working on trying to find my happiness, you know, trying to remind myself of, where I actually am in life right now and what I have going for me and continuing to stay in that, that satisfaction. Because ultimately, I mean, look, you see how she's, this woman is like looking and my ear just started ringing. My left ear just started ringing. You see how she's looking right at this 10 of cups? She just needs that one last cup to complete it. And she's manifesting it herself. Now, either she's moving forward towards it real quickly or it's coming in towards her, okay? Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Okie dokie, so now I'm going to get some clarification and, okay, so um, clarifica clarification time, woo! I'm sure you guys can see I'm holding the Golden Universal Tarot. Thank you so much for all the care and concern and the suggestions, but I do in fact know how I lost that card and where I lost the card. It's gone, <laughs> like, it's gone. <laughs> so, um, and yes, it was the Six of Cups. And yes, there is, there is um, a certain significance that I did pick up on. I'm not gonna go into details, but thank you. So, I, but I've already replaced the deck, here we are. So, we're going to get some clarification. Now, the bummer is that this deck, it's not as, like, fluid and, like, it's a little stiffer than the other one, which is, which is okay. It's still my favorite deck, but it's just interesting how, you know, no two decks are the same. Ha ha ha. Okay. So... We're gonna get some clarification here. Um, yeah, we're gonna start with the top row. And honestly, I do see the Knight of Wands with the Eight of Wands as someone coming in towards you as you just stay grounded in yourself. Um, Keep your inner peace. That's also what strength is saying too. That's it's about finding your inner sense of peace and tranquility and calm. You know, taming the beast within. Um, and it's really not even about taming the beast within in a sense of like controlling it, or you could say mastering it. But I don't. I don't even want to say that. It's more about coming into alignment with your inner. Um, your inner, inner primal nature and not about beating it to a pulp or again like controlling it or beating it into submission it's more about 
aligning with it, allowing it to be what it naturally is, but then also finding peace with it, integrating with it. That's because your primal nature is very much a part of you and is very much valid and is very much a, ne a necessary part of yourself. You know what I mean? But it's through that that you will find, that you'll start to find satisfaction and then you can really set yourself up for the Ten of Cups energy, yeah? One last shuffle. And then let's see what we've got here. Just some clarification, please, Spirit. Strength, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Really? Oh, there we go. Just one card. Ooh. King of Wands. Lots of Leo energy. Because the King of Wands represents Leo. Strength represents Leo as well. Whoa. Wow. With the Page of Wands. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're really talking about... Sorry, guys. I mean... Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Allergies. It won't last forever. Um, there's a sense of self-discovery that's happening here. It's almost as if it could be that maybe you are inspiring someone. You're inspiring someone to, for some of you, I'm really seeing that you're inspiring someone to rediscover themselves, um, discover their true nature is what I just heard for some of you. And uh, it could be this King of Wands here. Um, it could be this, this, this masculine counterpart that we've been talking about in the King and Queen of Wands for the past few days. Um, but also what I'm seeing here, for the most part, guys, this is you. <laughs> this is all you right here. Okay, especially with this Page of Wands. It's through, because the Page of Wands for me is, yes, it's the start of a new creative project. Yes, absolutely. Um, and that totally fits when you think about it in this sense. But what this is really speaking to in this moment for this reading, this is talking about self-discovery, rediscovering yourself, understanding your true nature, understanding yourself from a deeper level or from a new perspective or from a level that you've never really explored before. Self-exploration is a big key word here, self-exploration. And it's through your own satisfaction, coming into alignment with the, with, you know, your inner beast, your inner self, your primal nature. This is you understanding this primal nature, this, be, this part of yourself coming to terms with it, rectifying with it, or recon, excuse me, reconciling with it, um, understanding it from a deeper level. It's through this type of energy that brings you, that starts to bring you towards satisfaction and then helps you continue to cultivate satisfaction. And ultimately, this leads you to the Ten of Cups. Why? Because you understand yourself on a much deeper level. And so you have a better understanding of what your true Ten of Cups is. What is true happiness for you? What is true emotional fulfillment for you? The only way you're going to understand that is if you seek the knowledge with the Page of Swords here. And I guess you could say with strength, come into alignment with yourself. And then ultimately that transforms you or generates or brings out the King of Wands energy within you. What is that energy? That's self-confidence, self-belief, faith, trusting your intuition. It is knowing exactly what you want, knowing exactly what you want and either waiting for the right time to strike or knowing when the right time to strike is, okay? For some of you, this is even um, strongly connected to balancing your inner divine masculine energies or your inner masculine energies. I mean, I really don't even feel like we need to put that divine label in front of it because of the fact that everyone and everything is divine, 
period, regardless of its expression and regardless of your opinion of its expression, everything and everyone is divine. Okay, so now let's talk about here. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. I really do feel like some of you are soothsayers. Um, you are bringing your knowledge and your wisdom to people around you. Like, take me for example. I mean, I'm, lit I'm literally doing this right now, <laughs> okay? But for you, for you guys, I do see you as torchbearers, communicating, moving swiftly. But I also could potentially see someone, maybe this King of Wands here, coming forward towards you while you are content and happy in your satisfaction and just chilling. But let's get some clarity here on this, please, Spirit. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Wow. Okay. Nothing. Let's try again. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, please, Spirit. Just some clarity. Ooh. Oh. Oh. And there you go. <laughs> and <boop. laughs> Okay. We do have a two of swords underneath the deck, but check it out, guys. Check it out. Oh, sh shoot. Check it out, though. We do have that ace to complete that nine. Or, I'm sorry, to complete that ten. Wow, this is a lot. There's the Knight of Wands again. Four of Pentacles, okay. But looky here, y'all. Looky, looky here. We do have the counterparts. Gosh, be careful what you wish for, guys, or you're just gonna get a bunch of mess. <laughs> we've got the King and the Queen of Cups here, okay? So we've got the counterparts. But this is also a union. This is a masculine and feminine energy coming into balance. Now, in between the King and the Queen of Cups, we did have the Wheel of Fortune with the Five of Swords. Um, this is definitely reconciliation. And this absolutely is reconciling the masculine and feminine energies within you, okay? Growing up and showing up. Um, getting your emotions in balance, taking emotional responsibility, emotional maturity, all that good stuff. Uh, you have the Knight of Wands with the Four of Pentacles and the Moon here, but then you also have Judgment, the Empress, and the Seven of Cups. I am seeing that for some of you, you are in fact facing your fears here. Facing your fears and letting go of things that um, you've been holding on to, that have been holding you back. Um, literally, like I literally see this as somebody, some of you energetically like riding straight into the darkness to figure out what it is. Because with the Four of Pentacles, I'm seeing things that you're holding on to that are no good for you that are only holding you back, that are keeping you down. This could either be you or maybe this is somebody that you're connecting with, okay? Judgment, the Empress, Seven of Cups. But ultimately this is allowing you to cultivate greater abundance, figure out that you do in fact have options, or this is you having the abundance to weed through the challenges. You can either see the Seven of Cups here as options, or you can see them as all of the things that you're needing to go through or experience or sift through in order to release. It could be, for some of you, it could be all the Seven of Cups representing all the fears that you have that keep you in some, keep you or someone else in some sort of guarded state. 
that may have been keeping you in an indecisive state, two of swords, but that's the overall energy. Um, so that's weird. But here, Empress and Judgment, there's um, alignment, there's ascension, there's abundance. Okay. It's King and Queen of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords. Um, for some of you, there's some drama that's coming to an end. And it feels like time will tell in this situation. I don't really know. I can't, I'm not really seeing anything specific there. There is an indecisive energy with the Two of Swords. Maybe there has been in the past, or, and like you're coming out of it, or you're in the process of coming out of it now. But also, this is, this is all the purple energy that's coming through. You know, the divine wisdom, the understanding that the pur purple was what I saw in the beginning of the reading. The wisdom, the understanding, contemplation, I just heard. Seeking the truth, also. And also, like, loving yourself throughout the situation. Being in your Nine of Cups energy, your satisfaction self-care, happiness, gratitude, which is generating a next full cup for you that ultimately completes this 10. It's almost as if there's some sort of shadow work happening here. Now that did come out actually during the pre-shuffle, shadow work and moon child, which is cycles, moon cycles, and also the 10 of pentacles, lessons learned. Um, uh, I'm so sorry, I'm blanking. Lessons learned, uh, completion of cycles, being in it for the long haul, you know? <laughs> All right, guys. So now I'm gonna close out this reading here with an oracle card from the Crystal Mandala deck. Actually, no, we're actually gonna go with the Lightworker Oracle today. Sorry, Crystal Mandala. I didn't mean to fake you out like that, but actually I do feel like the Lightworker deck is going to be better. It's more appropriate for what we've been discussing here because I am seeing Knight... Oh, look, and also, look, it came out twice, the Knight of Wands. There's definitely a torchbearer, lightworker, way-shower type energy going on here. And ultimately, that's what a lot of us are here to do. We're here to find happiness, find satisfaction, find unconditional love, find alignment with ourselves and with the universe and source and all that, and then help other people find it too. And it's not through traditional means like religion and all that, whereas religion does in fact have a place in society. Ultimately, we're here to learn to be masters of our own domain to be creators, to be master creators. And you need a certain sense of freedom in order to do that, that you won't necessarily find in organized religion. And that, again, that's not to bash organized religion. I do believe it has a very necessary and beneficial place in human reality, human society. It's like a stepping, a spiritual stepping stone, but once you're free to create whatever you want, that's when you can really true, truly find true satisfaction, Nine of Cups, okay? And as the way showers, Knight of Wands, we're here to show people that, to, 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 to teach people how to find that within themselves, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got.
Closing message, please, Spirit, for today's reading. Yes. Ooh, okay. Card number five. Karmic clearing. Wowie, wow, wow. Okay. Karmic clearing. You are fast outgrowing a level of consciousness to which are attached particular wounds, issues, and struggles. As you outgrow that consciousness, these issues will release their grip on you. You are receiving divine notice that karmic clearing is taking place through a combination of your own efforts and spiritual grace from the heart of the divine. It is time for an old wound to be released once and for all. Oof. Ooh wee. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and much, much love to you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning in our weekend edition. Yeah? Take care. Bye.